Hello everyone, this is Gary Tonincourt from morethanasnapshot.com. Today we're continuing our tips on composition month at morethanasnapshot.com. And today's composition tip is more about planning on how to get a better composition. When you're ready to go out and do a shoot at a new location, you should really do a little bit of scouting. And I start my scouting with Google Maps. And I'm, go I'm from Rhode Island, so I'm going to use uh, a Rhode Island location. Castle Hill Lighthouse um, in Newport, Rhode Island. So when I search for it, it shows me that there is a hotel right there. It gives me all kinds of other information. I don't really need that right now. I'm interested in where the lighthouse is. If I've never been there, I'd want to see the roads. I can, of course, get directions from um, Google Maps on how to get there. But more importantly, down here at the bottom there are some images and if I click this little up arrow I can see images where other people have been photographing around that area and it shoots out this little black line to show you where the image was taken and this is useful to see in a new location if there's anything interesting to shoot there and you can kinda look at what are the good angles okay do I want to try to be down here or do I want to try to be up here where is going to be a good vantage point. Now I find that the images in here are, are maybe not the best but for scouting purposes it shows me what's around and what kind of angles I can get. Now the other thing you can play around with is there is a street view so this little man you just drag him onto the road and I'll bring it closer to where I know the lighthouse is and you get this street view so I can see what's around that area. I'm just using um, my mouse to move around. Here is the road leading to the hotel that's near Castle Hill Lighthouse. It seems like the only problem with it in some locations, as I zoom in, um, it doesn't let me go into, maybe it stays off private land. So I can't get out here where the lighthouse is with this mode. So kind of useful to see the area but it's not getting me to exactly where I need to be so I'm gonna shut off that view now once I found some interesting information I might want to save it so let's say I thought maybe this was uh, an interesting view an interesting location so I could bookmark it I could save it uh, I could email it to myself, I could do all those things. But lately I've been getting into a program called Evernote and I find it's got some great features for saving information, for being able to search for the information later. It doesn't get lost as easy as making a bookmark and also being able to share the information later with other people. So once you sign up for you know, um, Evernote and install it, it's a free program you can also get a free Chrome plugin called the Evernote Clipper. And so if I click on the elephant, that's the clipper. And it gives me a choice. Do I want to save a whole article, a simplified article, a full page, a bookmark, a screenshot? I can do any of those things, and I can even give it as tags to help find it later. So f since this is just kind of an image, maybe, maybe I'd rather save um, the map view. Uh, I could save just the bookmark and that's what my bookmark will look like. It'll tell it'll take me back right to the exact coordinates of where I am. And I can add a tag and call it Castle Hill Lighthouse. So that'll be very easy to find later. I saved it into my Evernote. All right, so once I have an idea of where I'm going, and what kind of views I'll have when I get there. I'll move on to taking a look at some photo sharing sites like Flickr. And when you do a search for Castle Hill Lighthouse on Flickr, since it's my search, some of my photos come up first. And then I'll take a look at other people's photos till I see stuff that's interesting. Again, I'm looking for interesting angles that maybe I haven't seen before. Try to find spots to um, shoot from and find any other interesting creative effects that people have tried that maybe I haven't tried uh, just to generate some ideas and again if I find anything interesting I can clip it to Evernote 
Along the same lines, I also would check out 500px and type in the same keywords just to check out what the what they have and um, they have sometimes some really great quality images so I check them out for the same reasons looking for interesting angles creative effects all those kinds of things of course when you're searching for a new location you're probably going to want to search for a place to stay maybe restaurants things like that so you do I just do some Google searches and again clip them all into uh, Evernote I could save it as a bookmark like this and that would be fine or I could save it as well for this kind of page a simplified article isn't good but I could save the full page and I could have the entire page in here and again I can add a tag if it helps make it easier to find later alright and then probably one of the other th last things I'll do is I'll search for it in uh, the photographers ephemeris you can just do a Google search for the Photographer's Ephemeris. It's free when it's on your computer. When it's the app on your phone, you have to pay for it. But um, it's a worthwhile app. On my phone, I also have one, uh, an app that does a similar thing called Sun Surveyor. It gives you all kinds of information. So first of all, it tells you things like the time for sunrise, moonrise, and sunset, plus a whole bunch of other little details. Um, and it gives you these nice little arrows showing you where the sun is coming in and where is it going out. So I can see here sunset is going to be in this direction. So if I find a spot to shoot in this direction, I can get the sunset behind the lighthouse. And same thing if I want to try to catch the moon or the Milky Way or anything like that in the photo, using a program like this to find it is very helpful.